guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to a new video. Today, we're reviewing the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Action Attack Tsukumimus figure. Now, this is a fantastic dinosaur figure featuring premium sculpt and nice paint apps. I don't even want to begin how many times we've seen this packaging. It's the Jurassic World symbol. It displays the figure right in the middle, and then right down here, there's another Jurassic World symbol and a little window showing how the feature works. Then here's Owen in blue, and all of that other stuff. Turning it to the back, it shows a nice display of the dinosaur, and it shows a text on how the action feature works, and the name of the dinosaur, and yet another Jurassic World logo. Turning to the bottom left corner, it shows a display of some of the other dinosaurs you can buy. I've reviewed pretty much every single one. As a matter of fact, all of them. And then next to the dinosaur, there is a text that says massive chomping action. And then here's stuff for the Jurassic World Facts app. And, um, a question mark. Now let's take this awesome figure out of the box. Now this should be pretty easy. It's because this has previously been unboxed. Because, um, since I've been gone for so long, this has been out of the box for a while. So yeah, I want to keep the box for the review. But, the sculpt on this figure is absolutely fantastic. The sculpt on the head, particularly. It looks just like a Jurassic World Tsukumimus. The neck is nicely detailed as well. You can see nice folds, creases, scales, anything you'd expect on a dinosaur neck. And then moving down to the arms, they're pretty cool. They're nicely sculpted. They're in a slightly awkward position, especially the hands. If you look closely, the fingers are almost pointing out, and uh, they're pointing too far out, which just does not look that great, to be honest. I personally did not notice this, but the hand is actually made of a soft, pliable rubber. So you could do many realistic, smooth-looking motions, like maybe you could make it, let's see, you can make it like slash. It's pretty cool. The torso has a pretty nice sculpt. You can see every individually sculpted scale. It looks pretty good, especially up close. Like, just look at that. That looks like a crocodile. That's what it looks like to me the most. Resembles that of a crocodile or some sort of crocodilian species. <laughs> Moving on to its bizarre sail, it, um, I am personally not that big of a fan of the sail. Not only does it make it look kind of childish and cartoony, it just makes it look like a darn fish. That's a lot of fish. So overall, the sail does not look all that great. Again, it makes it look childish and it just makes it look like a fish, again. I think the part of the figure that was sculpted the best has to be the legs. You can see nicely pronounced musculature, and it fades from this turquoise to this really cool kind of navy dark blue color. I like how they did that. The tail, um, well, uh, it's disproportionately small compared to the rest of the body. However, I do like how they continued the yellow sail onto the tail, sail tail, and if you look closely, there's actually blue highlights on the sail itself, and I think it gives it a lot more depth and detail. I know you guys want to see what it does, so if you press this button, it will lunge its head forward and it will bite. However, it does look a tad bit goofy when it does it, because the head kind of wobbles a little, like that. You still saw that, Ed, but um, the cool thing is, if you hold the mouth open, it will reveal the pink, fleshy inside, which looks pretty cool. <laughs> So that wraps up this video, but before I go, I want to go over some size comparison. So here it is next to the Jurassic World Action Attack Carnotaurus, and they scale up pretty nicely. The Carnotaurus is taller, but the Sukumimus is a tad bit longer than the Carnotaurus. Then here it is next to the yet-to-be-reviewed Grab and Growl Indoraptor, and they also scale up pretty nicely. And, uh, oh, oh dear, the Indoraptor's gonna, oh, uh, oops.